started as a rumor on tech forums, slipped under the radar in a Musk presentation, and then suddenly made headlines. The Omega Core, a name that sounds like something out of science fiction, but which is now being treated as the backbone of Tesla's new generation of electric cars. Instead of betting on incremental updates to the old lithium-ion battery, the brand decided to abandon familiar ground. The future, it seems, will be made of aluminum and graphene. With an energy density that borders on the unbelievable, Aontuan 120 weight curdies Omega Core simply multiplies the capacity of the current 4680 cells by four, rewriting the market logic. This new composition is not just promising more autonomy, but an absurd autonomy. More than 100 days without needing to recharge. And this isn't marketing hype. We're talking about a cell capable of supporting 11,000 complete charge and discharge cycles before dropping to 90% capacity. This, translated for those who don't speak batteries, means something around Hoytorp. Million miles of useful life. It's a complete reversal of the idea that batteries are disposable parts. This one lasts so long that the car will become a museum piece and the battery will still be ready for another. But what makes this battery last so long? The secret lies in its core, or rather, in the way it stores energy. Instead of relying on chemical reactions that wear down the internal layers, the Omega core stores energy in quantum states. Imagine electrons arranged like puzzle pieces floating between layers of vacuum-sealed graphene. There's no expansion, no contraction, no alloy breakdown. The structure remains stable, even when fully charged. It's as if each recharge were simply a shift in the electron's position, causing no friction or wear. This type of storage is so far-fetched that it defies classical physics. Electrons don't just flow, they oscillate between superposed states, storing multiple energy levels simultaneously. This eliminates the age-old problem of internal deformation and gradual loss of capacity. And vacuum graphene, with its ultra-thin layers, acts as a kind of subatomic vault where energy is isolated from any external interference. The result? The battery not only lasts longer, but also delivers energy more quickly and stably. Now consider the impact this has on the cost of owning a car, a component that was once a source of anxiety. Because it degraded, needed replacing, or was a fire hazard, becomes a permanent asset. The math starts to change. Instead of replacing the car every eight or 10 years, the owner can simply keep the same vehicle for decades or even transfer the battery to a new model in the future. The value doesn't evaporate over time, it accumulates. The issue of durability also changes the relationship with the environment. Fewer batteries are being produced, less electronic waste, less mining, and since aluminum is one of the most abundant elements in the Earth's crust, much easier and cleaner to extract than lithium, the ecological impact of production also tends to decrease drastically. While increasing performance, Tesla promises to reduce the environmental burden of its cars, a powerful argument even against countries that dominate the lithium supply chain. And while competitors are still chasing solid state as the savior, Tesla seems to have bypassed that path entirely. Omega Core is neither solid nor liquid. It's a mixture of both, with quantum behavior, battery, and capacitor hybrid, capable of instantly discharging when needed and still maintaining a massive long-term reserve, a technology that no longer follows the industry's playbook. It writes a new one. The curious thing is that this entire advancement came about almost silently. A casual comment here, a collaboration with MIT there, and suddenly the world finds itself facing a seemingly impossible leap forward. Elon Musk may have said that there are elements that have not yet been revealed, but those who paid attention understood the message. Omega Core isn't just Tesla's next battery. It's a paradigm shift, and from here on out, everything else needs to reinvent itself. What's most impressive about this new battery isn't just its incredible battery life, but also how it handles what has always been the bane of power cells, the weather. 
While traditional batteries begin to suffer in sub-zero temperatures and can even explode in extreme heat, the Omega Core seems to simply ignore the thermometer. It operates at full efficiency in environments ranging from 80 degrees Celsius to 250 feet. This means that even in the biting cold of Antarctica or on the scorching asphalt of the Sahara, the system never fails. This extreme resistance has a first and last name, plasma conduction layer, unlike conventional batteries, which rely on ions moving in an electrolyte, Omega Core uses a network of ionized particles, a type of charged gas, that move freely through an electromagnetic field. This allows energy transport to occur even when cold freezes any other type of conduction. And in hot weather, since there are no unstable chemical reactions taking place, there's simply no risk of uncontrolled overheating. Another huge advantage is that this plasma conduction eliminates much of the heavy, fragile materials used in conventional batteries. Tesla has achieved this reduced pack weight by up to 48%, which is a giant leap for any automaker. In a world where every pound lost means more range and less energy consumption, this reduction completely changes the design and performance of any electric car. It's as if the vehicle gained extra power without needing a larger engine. The secret behind this is in the quantum conduction between entangled electrons. It sounds complicated, but it works like this. The electrons aren't moving like in a regular electric current. They're connected in quantum pairs, a kind of invisible duo that exchanges energy instantly without relying on heat or physical movement. This ultra-fast communication is what allows the battery to operate so stably, even at temperatures that would render other systems inoperable. The absence of thermal expansion is also a key differentiator. In normal batteries, heat causes materials to expand and contract, causing micro-cracks, leaks, and even explosions over time. The Omega Core's structure, however, remains static even under extreme conditions, preventing this type of wear. And because there are no liquid or gel parts that can boil or freeze, the risk of failure simply vanishes. This ultra-resistant thermal behavior isn't just about safety. It changes the global logic of how and where electric cars can operate. In very cold regions like Scandinavia or Canada, where conventional batteries require internal heating systems, the Omega Core would operate without adjustments. The same goes for desert areas like Australia and the Middle East, where intense heat often hinders electric vehicles. Suddenly, the entire world becomes viable territory for a Tesla, and the impact goes beyond cars. A battery that can withstand this type of thermal variation could be used in airplanes, satellites, critical infrastructure, and even in space environments. The ability to maintain consistent energy performance anywhere makes the Omega Core something that goes far beyond urban mobility. And since Tesla has a direct connection to SpaceX, it wouldn't be surprising if this same technology was being prepared for missions beyond Earth. It's at this point that an inevitable question arises. If the battery is so stable, so durable, and so light, does it still need a charger? Or can the very structure of the environment provide enough energy to keep it alive? The answer to this is closer than it seems, and it doesn't involve outlets or solar panels. It's in the very air around us. While the world is still debating where to install the next charging station, Tesla seems to have already skipped that step. The Omega Core doesn't just store energy. It captures energy from the environment, and this completely changes the game. Instead of relying on an outlet or charging station, the car becomes a kind of living antenna, absorbing electricity from the air, waves, movement, and even itself. It's as if the vehicle is constantly breathing invisible energy, even when it's parked in the garage. All of this is possible because of a built-in system called harvesting of environmental ions. Instead of waiting for a power connection, the battery collects energy from Wi-Fi signals, radio signals, electromagnetic waves, and low frequencies that are naturally dispersed throughout the world. And it's not just a symbolic extra. Test data shows that this system can recover between 5 and 12 kilowatts per day, 
depending on the environment, enough to power most urban trips without ever touching a charger. The car's external structure becomes part of the process. Microscopic antennas hidden in the body panels are tuned to capture signals from cellular networks, GPS, and other background frequencies that circulate constantly. Even inside a closed garage, the vehicle can absorb electricity. And how the system works in 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even when parked, the car accumulates energy, like an organism that recharges itself while sleeping. But Tesla went further. By including a component called kinetic flux coil, the car can also transform movement into energy. Every turn, every acceleration, every vibration of the bodywork generates microcurrents that are stored in the Omega core. This means that the simple act of driving, or even leaving the car parked in a windy spot, can power the battery. In short, the vehicle becomes a self-sufficient energy-moving machine. During secret tests, a model equipped with this system achieved incredible speeds. 8,900 miles without using any type of cable charging. The energy captured from the environment, combined with that generated by the car's own movement, was enough to keep the battery above the minimum required level. In urban environments, the dense presence of Wi-Fi and cellular signals further accelerates passive recharging. The car draws its energy from everything around it, as if it were hungry for ambient electricity. This capability makes the entire charging infrastructure currently being built around the world obsolete. If Omega Core delivers on its promise, cars will no longer be dependent on charging stations and will become autonomous energy entities, which are self-sustaining. This directly impacts operating costs, user convenience, and even fleet logistics in remote areas where access to energy is scarce or non-existent. Even more impressive is the concept's scalability. If a single vehicle can recharge itself from invisible waves around it, imagine an entire fleet circulating throughout a city, forming a kind of decentralized energy ecosystem. The idea that the car is an extension of the environment, constantly absorbing and converting energy, paves the way for transportation networks that operate without the need for wires or fixed stations. All of this still sounds like science fiction to many, but the data is real, the prototypes have been tested, and Tesla engineers are treating the system as functional. With Omega Core, the question is no longer, where's the nearest charger? But what isn't already a power source for this car? And it's precisely this shift in perspective that paves the way for a new chapter in vehicle energy engineering. At this point, we can no longer view this battery as just a technical component. It has become a feat of engineering with spacefaring DNA. Literally, the Omega Core's design was inspired by SpaceX Raptor engine cooling systems, taking advantage of a simple and powerful logic. Curves dissipate heat better than flat surfaces. Therefore, the battery's internal structure adopts a continuous shape, similar to the letter Omega, O, which expands by more than 340% contact area with electrolytes, optimizing every millimeter for energy flow and thermal stability. This architectural choice isn't just aesthetic. It solves one of the industry's biggest problems, single points of failure. In conventional batteries, if one cell fails, the entire system can be compromised. With Omega Core's loop geometry, conduction occurs by multiple simultaneous paths which prevents a complete collapse even if one section is damaged. It's a clever redundancy, inherited directly from SpaceX's rocket safety principles. And if space engines inspired the shape, the strength comes from the material. Instead of using the rigid and fragile ceramic electrolytes of the failed solid-state promises, Tesla opted for a flexible, glassy electrolyte, a translucent substance that resembles liquid glass but can deform without breaking. This flexibility is what allows the Omega core to withstand extreme pressures and temperature variations without cracking, maintaining stable performance under any physical stress. But perhaps the boldest move is the total replacement of the copper current collectors, which have been industry standard 
for decades. In their place comes the plasma conduction layer, where ionized particles move with a freedom that seems to violate the laws of conventional electricity. Here, energy doesn't just flow through metal wires, it flows through microscopic plasma channels stabilized by magnetic fields, as if the battery had created its own internal universe to conduct electricity. This new type of driving practically eliminates heat loss due to electrical resistance. While traditional collectors waste 3 to 7% of their energy as heat, the plasma layer operates almost like a superconductor, even at room temperature. This means greater efficiency, less heat, and, of course, greater safety. After all, excess heat is one of the main causes of failure in current batteries. And it simply doesn't have room here. It's impossible to ignore the impact of this leap forward in vehicle design. With a lighter, more compact battery capable of delivering instantaneous power without overheating, a whole new range of possibilities opens up for building thinner, more aerodynamic, and even cheaper electric cars. Space previously occupied by cooling systems can be used to expand the cabin and trunk or reduce the car's overall weight, improving overall performance. Another detail that draws attention is how Tesla is full integration between car and battery. The Omega Core is no longer a separate module fitted into the structure. It is the structure vehicle architecture now revolves around the battery, leveraging its properties to create a more stable platform with better weight distribution and reduced vibration. This fusion of energy design and automotive design gives rise to a new school of engineering that extends far beyond Tesla. And all this sophistication isn't just for the sake of saying, look how pretty it is on the inside. Every choice here was made with a single goal in mind, to create a battery that does not fail, even under the most absurd conditions. It's no longer about beating competitors. It's about pushing the limits of traditional physics and fully entering the realm of space-inspired engineering. And since the next step involves near-light speeds, you can bet the rocket connection isn't just symbolic. After all this, there are still people thinking that the Omega Core is just another new battery. But what is actually being created is a new energy generation based on a collaboration that brings together three powers, Tesla, SpaceX, and MIT each brought a piece of the puzzle. Tesla, its obsession with automotive efficiency. SpaceX, its expertise in extreme thermal engineering. And MIT, the brains behind electronic manipulation in atomic scale together. These three entities are shaping something that doesn't fit into any existing category. Forget the old dichotomy between lithium batteries and solid state cells. Omega core is lithium free, semi-solid, plasma conducted, and stuffed with vacuum graphene layers. This alone already sets it apart. But what really sets it apart is the behavior of the electrons within the structure. They don't move like in a conventional battery, sliding from one pole to the other. They jump between layers at speeds close to 10% of the speed of light, thanks to the almost perfect vacuum between the graphene sheets. This extreme movement is not random. It is controlled in coordinated waves, 